Production. What up boys, if you don't know why my pronunciation is shit, it's because I've recently got braces on and I need time to adapt, which is why there's not so many videos lately. Just a quick reminder that I have a giveaway going on for my sponsor Gameflip, which is a marketplace where you can cash out your CSGO skins. Link is in the description, signing up using the code baguette will get you in the giveaway of this M9 Bayonet Gamma Doppler factory new, and you will also have one dollar to use how you want on their website. Alright, music? Wow! I have to speak like that. Alrighty, let's talk about this recall update. Many of you asked my opinion and some tips about the new mechanics of the game. Are you supposed to spray? Are you supposed to go for the one-taps? I can tell that some of you are confused and I was as well in the beginning, but don't worry because here I am rock you like a hurricane and yep, that doesn't make any sense. First, I'm personally satisfied and I'm a very hard guy to satisfy. No sexual reference, but this is the very first time that an update about the recoil satisfies me. And I've been on CSGO since the private beta, so let me tell you I've seen many different updates. I'm not gonna go too far into technical details. If you want a more in-depth analysis, I highly recommend you to watch the video of who are all covering this update. My goal for this video is to be very concrete, so I might say stuff that will appear like very obvious to you, but don't forget that the majority of the players are beginners. Before this update in a fight, your best option was almost always to spray and control the spray, unless you'd be very far away from your enemy. From now on, this has changed. With this update, you can now develop different shooting styles and they are all viable options. Here's quickly why. Valve added a new value to the recoil calculation. This value defines the amount of time that your accuracy needs to be resetted. The difference is that it's gonna be a dynamic value from now on. It changes with the number of bullets you've already fired. For example, before it will take the same amount of time whether you shoot 1 or 10 bullets. But now the same value is dynamic. If you shoot 1 bullet, your accuracy will recover faster than if you shoot 10 bullets. Everybody likes to show these two graphs, but what do they mean? The first one shows that from now on, shooting your AK in tapping, one by one bullet, is way more accurate than before. As I've said, it's because your accuracy recovers faster because you're not spraying in between the bullets. Second one shows a spray, and you can see that the bullet number 2, 3, 4 and 5 are way more accurate than before, but then it becomes less accurate. Meaning that from now on, short burst and tapping are both decent options to consider when you Want to pick a fight. As I've said, I'm trying to be as concrete as possible, so let's review the three different ways of shooting. Number one, the classic spray. By spraying into a wall without touching my mouse, here's what I get. This is called the recoil pattern and it clearly shows that by lowering my mouse when I shoot, I will get a better control over my bullet's trajectory. Absolutely nothing new so far, this is called a spray, empty your magazine and try to control where the bullets are going. A spray profit of the fire rate of an automatic weapon, but in exchange will sacrifice the precision. Many bullets won't hit the target, but the fire rate is here to compensate. The cons are that you're standing still when you're spraying and it will make you an easy target. And also you might find yourself out of bullets if another enemy shows up. Number two is tapping, and this is highly associated with Scream and his famous one taps. Fire your bullets one by one, your fire rate is decreased but your precision is definitely better and this update made it a viable option since your accuracy recovers faster, it is definitely worth the shot now. You can play tapping at every range because your only limit is your ability to aim on the enemy. If your aim is good enough, you are rewarded. I just want to add something, shooting in tapping doesn't necessarily mean that you need to aim for the head. It's obviously better if you manage to get the headshot, but now that the accuracy is better, you might as well go for tapping 4 bullets in the stomach, because it works as well. And the option number 3 is to shoot in burst. Fire your weapon in burst of 3 to 5 bullets and move in between every burst. This was pretty common before as well, but the difference is that now it's easier and more effective since your accuracy recover faster. And as we just saw on the graph, your bullets are also more accurate in the beginning of a spray than before. You can use it to pick angles for example, allowing you to move in between every burst, or also when you're facing some one. It's actually a great compromise between the two other ways of shooting. For example, when you're spraying, you're an easy target because you're standing still. If you don't get rid of your opponent quick enough, you will be an easy target. But if you shoot 5 bullets, then move to the right, then shoot 5 others and move to the left, it's gonna be harder to aim at you. These three ways of shooting are commonly known, but from now on, they are all viable options. Here stands the difference, from now on, you can choose to develop the one you like the most. I personally love this update for this reason. I think it's more skill-based and skill 
rewarding than before, CSGO is going the right way, finally. When you're going for the one taps, you'd better get your aim on point. If you're aiming precisely enough, you'll get rewarded. This is finally an update putting aiming skills on front instead of rewarding crouch, spray and prey. Now don't get me wrong, you can still spray. The only difference is that now this is not your only option and when you feel like your aim is on point, you'd better go for some tapping or burst. And that's once again skill rewarding. It's up to you to decide which way of shooting is more effective depending on the situation. Sometimes a spray will be the worst of your option, sometimes tapping will be. It's now up to you to practice and develop your own style. And before someone asks, in my opinion, the best way to practice is still to deathmatch again and again and again and again. So I hope this short video will help you to improve and understand the new recoil mechanics of the game. I'm still working on my pronunciation and I can tell you progress has been made, but I'm definitely not fixed yet. So I'm gonna keep working on that and I will step up my game ASAP. Thanks for watching the video guys, I will see you in the next one. At this point, it's my mistake. In that situation, you have one second to make a choice. So what do I know that can help me to make a decision? My teammate died on site and there's no one on short, which means that no one can help me. I'm alone and the bomb site is lost.